I'm at Latour Asset Management, and you know this guy. He's the guy with his name on the door. This is Joe Latour. Good to see you, Joe. Hey, Tom. Always good to see you. All right, we've talked so many times, but I want to get back to kind of the basics. When people come to you, you know, asset management is what it's all about. What are they hoping for? What are they looking for? Great question, Tom. People need a holistic, comprehensive plan. Okay. You used a word comprehensive there. That word's thrown around a lot. What does it mean to you concerning me, my assets? Right, right. So it's more than just recommending a product for that client. Man, there's, there's so much, Tom, that goes into a comprehensive plan. Mm -hmm. First of all, you know, take Social Security, for instance. All right. Okay. It's the foundation of your income in retirement. And with everybody, when and how to file is going to be different. A comprehensive plan is not a one-size-fits-all. We have to take your measurements, what's important to you, okay? Your health conditions may come into play when deciding when to file for Social Security. Um, when you need the income, right. that might come into play. If you don't need the income, if you let it continue to grow, it might be wiser for you if you're in good health. So learning all these things about you are important, helping you get the foundation of your income and retirement laid Social Security. That's the first thing. Okay. And, and the, the, the thing is, what you've just said there, is it is not a one-size-fits-all kind of program, for want of a better word. Correct, correct. So next, once you have the foundation laid, yeah. then what do you do with the assets, Tom, that you've accumulated all your working life? Mm -hmm. Well, again, from person to person, that's gonna be different. So one of the first things that we have to do is to get your risk measurements, okay? Put a score okay. on your risk. All right. And then make recommendations according to your risk score, all right? So that we don't have an overabundance of risk, more risk that, than is suitable for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the other thing too, Tom, in a comprehensive plan would be, hey, how much are you gonna need an in income in retirement? We need to identify what it is we're aiming at. Okay. okay. You know, I've, I've said it often before, people that aim at nothing have a 100% success rate in hitting it. They hit that target, yes. <laughs> so we need to know what it is you need, Tom, and then uh, position your assets uh, accordingly um, into positions of less risk that provide more predictable income, like unto your Social Security, so that your standard of living dollars are not sitting in the middle of the most risky thing out there on Wall Street. Okay, what do I look for then if I'm looking for an advisor? You're telling me, you know, these are the things that com mean comprehensive, but what do I look for in a manager, uh, uh, someone who's going to help me avoid the pitfalls? Okay, well, let me tell you what not to look for first. Okay, that... okay so what you don't want is a one-trick pony, uh, somebody that just does one thing, maybe insurance only, mm -hmm. okay, because they can offer products that may be part of a comprehensive plan, right. but they can't offer a comprehensive plan. They're not licensed to do that. So really what you want to look for, Tom, is a fiduciary, someone who has a legal standard of putting your best interest first, and that only does better when you do better. Okay, back up. Fiduciary, if I don't make money, you don't make money. Correct. If I lose money, you lose money? If you lose money, the amount of money that the fee uh, is applied to would be less. So yes, if your portfolio goes down, the advisor gets a cut and pay. So it sounds like, you know, if you're talking about a fiduciary, what you're talking about is someone who's going to treat your assets as though they're his. That is correct. Now, l let me say one other thing about a fiduciary, Tom. So. A fiduciary can recommend a commissionable product, all right, mm -hmm. if it's in your best interest, but he must disclose it as a conflict of interest and let you know, hey, I'm making a commission on this. You need to know that. Transparency. Transparency. Full disclosure, full transparency. And when the state or uh, the SEC or, or any other regulatory body comes in to audit, the fiduciary needs to be able to show a paper trail that the, the recommendations they made for this client were according to their risk tolerances, were according to their needs for income, that they didn't put them into something that was just a higher commission to make the advisor more money. In the client's best interest. Correct. 
people want more information about this, want to ask you some questions, how do they do it, Joe? Well, they just give us a call, Tom, at 886-5724, or they can go on the website. It's full of good information, videos, instructional videos, uh, at latourasset.com. All right, Latour Asset Management.